Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects, then create a new composition. Name it to Digital Logo Animation. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second and set the duration to 10 seconds. Click here, and choose Title, Action Save to keep essential elements visible on all screens. Go to the toolbar, and choose the Text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and type your text. Press Ctrl plus A to select all, then align your text to the center. Right click on the text layer, and choose Pre-Compose. Rename it to the logo and text. Make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. Click on the empty space. Go to the toolbar, and select the ellipse tool. Set the fill color to white and stroke to none. Now, hold the Shift plus Alt key on the keyboard, and draw a circle like this, align the circle to the center. Rename the circle layer to Mask. Keep the shape layer selected, and press the S key to open scale properties. Then add a keyframe. Go forward to 7 seconds on the timeline. Then drag the keyframe to 7 seconds. Go back to the first frame, and change the circle scale to 0%. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Turbulent Displace. Double click on it. Change the amount to 200. Change the size to 20. Complexity to 10. Now, hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the Evolution Stopwatch icon to add an expression. Type Time multiplied by 300. Keep the Mask layer selected. Then go to Effects and Presets, and search the Effect Mosaic. Double click on the Mosaic effect which is under the Style Eyes. Change the Horizontal Blocks to 100 and set the vertical blocks to 50. Again search for an effect called Sharpen. Double click on it. Change the Sharpen amount to 75. Go to Track Matte and choose Alpha Matte. If you can't find the Track Matte options, then click this toggle, and Switch Mode button. Or, right click here, then under the columns. Make sure the modes are selected. Let's see the preview. Looks good to me. Select both layers and right click and choose Pre-Compose. Name it Logo Build. Select the Logo Build layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Hide the top layer. Keep the bottom layer selected. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Fill. Double click on it. Change the fill color to white. Unhide the top layer. Go to Track Matte, and choose Alpha Inverted Matte. Move the Time Cursor to 10 frames. Then move the top layer to start from 10 frames. As you can see, there are logo outlines. Let's fix them. Select the bottom layer. Go to Effects and Presets, and search the Effect Minimax. Double click on it. Go to the Settings. Change the Operation to Minimum. 
change the radius value to 2 and channel to alpha and color. Let's see the preview again. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Select both layers, right click, and choose pre-compose. Name it scan build or anything you like. Go to the projects tab. Drag and drop the logo build composition just below the scan build layer. Select the scan build layer. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect CC glass. In the CC glass effect settings, go under the surface, change the property to alpha, change the softness value to 1, change the height value to negative 35, change the displacement value to 200. Keep the scan build layer selected, go to effects and presets, search the effect displacement map, double click on it. Change the max horizontal displace to 200, and vertical displace to 0. Let's add some colors to the animation. Go to effects and presets. Search for the colorama effect. Double click on it or drag and drop it just below the displacement map effect. Go under the modified, then uncheck the modify alpha. Go under the input phase, change the add phase to scan build. Let's add some glow. Go to effects and presets. And search for glow effect. Double click on it. Change the glow radius to 75%. Select the glow effect, and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Change the glow radius to 100%. Again drag and drop the scan build effect just above all layers. Go to the effects and presets. Search for the effect find edges. Double click on it. Then select the invert. Change the mode from normal to screen. Let's see the changes after applying the find edges effect. Let's preview it. It looks perfect to me. However, let me increase the mosaic block sizes. Select the mask layer, and change the horizontal blocks to 75, and vertical blocks to 25. Let's preview it again. Amazing. Looks perfect to me. Right click here, then new, and select the null object. Select the composition layers, and drag the pick whip to the null layer. Make sure, you are at the first frame on a timeline. Select the null layer, and press S to open scale properties. Then add a keyframe. Change the scale from 100 to 115%. Go to the last frame, and change the scale to 95%. Select both keyframes and press the F9 key to easy ease them. Before I move to the final step, let me change the text color. Go back to the main composition. Move the time cursor to 6 seconds. Select the logo build layer. Go to effects and presets. Search for the effect CC light sweep. Double click on it. Change the direction to positive 30 degrees. Add a keyframe for the center option. Move this little circle to change the light position. Go to the last frame. And change the light position to something like this. Select the bottom layer, and press the U key on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes. Select both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and choose easy ease. 
or simply click the F9 key on the keyboard. Let's see the preview. Cool. Looks good to me. Let me add the logo instead of the text. I have already updated the text. Let's take a look at the final preview. Cool. It looks perfect to me. Congratulations, you have now learned how to create a digital logo animation. Remember, this is just one technique, and you can explore and create even more impressive animations. I hope this was helpful, and you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Good luck.